everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's be honest, we're in a bit of a dry spell. Who still needs to beat... Well, I mean, obviously, yes, Blue Baby still needs to beat Satan. Who still needs to beat the... 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 the not the... the Lamb. Who still needs to beat the Lamb? Eden still needs to beat the Lamb, so I'm gonna give it a try. Yes, I know we need to do Lazarus runs, but Eden is so much more tempting. We started with Holy Water, Tammy's Head, and Decent Damage. That's an okay start. X, N, 8, L, N, Y, 4, M will be your seed for today. We also start with Isaac's Fork as far as trinkets go. Um, look, our speed, tiers, all that stuff is pretty bad. But, oh, we start with 5 cents too. That's actually a pretty good draw. Um, yeah, like speed, tiers, shot speed, range, etc, etc, aren't very good, but the most important stat of all is damage, and Tammy's head has so many cool synergies. I don't know why it's getting occasionally framey here. I apologize for it, but uh, it's not totally my fault. You know what? I am going to take Bob's brain. Here's my thinking. It's so early that um, we don't know if we're going to be rolling in damage as this run goes along. We can use Tammy's head to take out the enemies that get too close to us. Bob's brain can be used for the rest of the detritus. Let's move along here. I'm interested to see how this works out, although I'll admit, not totally confident that it's gonna work out the, like, the perfect way that I've imagined in my mind. That being said, we could be right here. This could be the right decision. We could get some extra rocks out of it or something like that. And I imagine it'll make our first few bosses pretty easy to kill. Alright, pin. That worked pretty well. Jump at me again, bro. See what happens. That went very well. We picked up the pentagram. Picking up the pentagram means that I'm not really that excited about having picked up Bob's brain. We probably could have done without it. That being said, we got it. And if we start with it early, maybe that'll allow us to, um, you know, learn to live with it early as well. If that makes sense. I don't know how we're going to get that uh, chest in there. There is a... Uh, there's a tinted rock. If we could somehow get this fly to go all the way over there, we might be able to get that Tinted Rock without using a bomb, but let's be realistic. That's probably not going to happen. Uh, let's not use Tammy's head here. Bob's brain does not explode when it touches fires. That's actually a pretty valuable piece of information for me right now. I use Bob's brain, or try to use Bob's brain so little that I wasn't totally sure about that. It's Aquarius, right? Trail of Tears, great item. Uh, basically gives us the effects of having a uh, headless baby without actually having Headless baby. So far, so good on this one, I'd say. Tell you what, let's get Bob's brain in there first. Yeah, we don't even need to use uh, Tammy's head after that. But uh, I was thinking we get Bob's brain in there first because Bob's brain will blow that up and then we'll be able to use Tammy's head to sneak in there. We got a nice little one-two punch here. And of course, I would be lying if I said that um, I wasn't thinking about some like potential Tammy's, Tammy's head brimstone action. I've got to, you know, I can't be salty when I take damage from Bob's brain. Uh, I've just got to accept it as kind of... You know, it's the, it's the cost of doing business here. Let's see if we can sneak this in, maybe blow up that pot as well. Oh, what? <laughs> that didn't hit? Well, at least we got that, that pot right there. Um, I, I'm sad to lose that spirit arc because it could cost us a deal with the devil here, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Bob's brain should be back, yeah, any second now. Lucky us. Playing it very, very slow on this room. First off, because I am very, very slow, not mentally. Hey, don't take a crack at that. I can be uh, self-deprecating. You can't deprecate me. Depreciate me? Come on, English language. Get it together here. All right. Let's go into the boss room. It's Widow. Tammy's head did some decent damage. I should have waited until Bob's brain recharged. Here we go. This is the perfect time. It's the perfect time! What? Okay, it's the perfect time again. Round two. No problems. Brimstone. Brimstone Tammy's head. HP, Brimstone Tammy's head. Brimstone, Brimstone, that is the nail. So this is a bit of a tough call for me. Because I love Tammy's head. So I'm gonna say no to the nail. And that hurts me because I haven't had the nail on this uh, save. I haven't had the nail at all yet. Uh, so that's... It's a bit of a... It hurts me on the inside, in the soul region. I'll tell you that right now. But I do think, you know, I, I really, above all else, just want to get out of this terrible funk that I've been in. I want to get some wins. Uh, and uh, I think that this run, the way that it's set up right now, is shaped up pretty nicely to get wins. Brimstone. <laughs> Brimstone. That's not Brimstone. That's not Falco. Um, obviously, I botched that with Bob's brain. 
That is infamy. It shows up so frequently. I'm very displeased about that. Um, but it's still worth picking up infamy. Do we have enough HP? Uh, we have some HP on the boss room. We still have to get infamy, there's just no question about it. And maybe we've, no, we haven't quite burned off the uh, Are You a Wizard effect yet. Wonder if the, does Bob's brain explode on these guys? Doesn't look like it. Now it's possible that shot could have missed, but it was looking pretty solid. That was a little scary. Are You a Wizard is worn off. I appreciate the extra HP, but I don't think we're going to be looking for anything else uh, over the course of this. Wish we had a bomb, but oh well. So we might be setting ourselves up for deals with the angel. Uh, I would love to get deals with the devil in the future. Again, Tammy's head brimstone. It's the combination that I've been dreaming about, but yet seem to not be able to get on the uh, on the PC version at least. I did have it on the PS4 version once, but that doesn't really mean squat, does it? Not for the purposes of the recording here at least. Rooms like this, I can get behind. That went very well, actually. Uh, wait for Bob's brain to hopefully not explode in your face here. Oh my god, why are we getting spirit hearts so kind of randomly? I shouldn't be complaining, you know what? I'm just going to enjoy it. Let's shoot our fire. Uh, it's kind of unnecessary. I feel like it's taken forever to shoot the fire, so I'm kind of lazy about it. But at the same time, we should do it. The money might end up making a big difference. I think, it's funny, this is now a run with like the two items I've seen the most in Rebirth, I think. Infamy seems to, sh ugh, seems to show up on every run, and uh, Bob's brain probably like every three runs. Hot bombs. So I believe this will actually make Bob's brain a little bit stronger, which is, you know, it it's never going to do more damage to me than it already did, so I can't really complain about it that much. Let's see what we've got going on in our shop. Um, friends become friendlier? Sure. I think this is okay. We don't really have any uh, any kind of friends yet in real life or in the game, but I still think this is a decent uh, option for us. Let's check and see if we can find our secret room on a, on a floor where it's relatively easy to do so. Why not, right? And yeah, our bombs are going to be nice now. Decent amounts of damage. Bob's brain is ready. Be careful. Be afraid. I don't know why the frame rate on Bob's brain seems so bad. I hope that's not translating to video. If it is, I'm probably just bringing more attention to it. I apologize, but as someone who's making these videos, it's frustrating when stuff like that happens. We've got a nice kind of... Oh, you know what? Bob's brain actually became bigger. I'm not sure if that's something we want, though. I would like to blow up this mushroom. Fortunately, I can't seem to... Oh, that was so close. There we go. Now, blowing up the mushroom gave us nothing, but it could have given us something, and that's the thing that's most important, I'd say. What am I hoping for? I do want to deal with the devil. Above all else. And I want that brimstone play. Oh, come on, dog. Don't do me dirty here. You should be able to kill, like, this run is not necessarily super well built for, um, for rooms without a lot of enemies. Or, sorry, for rooms with a lot of enemies. But for single target foes, we got very lucky to not get hit there. For single target foes, I think this is a, a really, really strong run. So boss rooms, as long as I can plan like the, the shot appropriately, should be very, very easy. Wait for Bob's brain. It's back. Who we got? Pestilence. Knock him across the gob right away. Give him a little bit of that Tammy's head action, and he's already passed his first phase. Plus, he was nice enough to open a tinted rock for me. He also trapped me in the corner here, but let's just ignore that. Well, he gave me... Fuck. He gave me Bob's rotten head. How do I... Oh, we gotta deal with the angel anyway. Um, Tammy's head is better than Bob's rotten head, but by taking Bob's rotten head, we might become cl closer to becoming Bob if there's a transformation for that. Okay, um, hello, hi, yes, What's what, what are you doing? I've never seen you before, my friend. That's a nice little laser attack you've got going on there. Did I accidentally use Bob's brain and like blow up the angel pedestal or something? Have I made a terrible mistake? I've heard some some people talking about that angel pedestal as being a uh, a pivotal potential thing. Either way, we got Nun's Habit, which, as you might know, Nun's Habit, of course, one of the most fantastic uh, items in the game when you have Tammy's Head, an item that you can use all the time anyway. But Bob's Brain is doing damage. Tammy's Head's ready, thanks to Nun's Habit. Okay. Tell you what, I'll stand back a little bit there, mate. 
Can you stand inside the fire like Garth Brooks advised you not to, please? We won. We got, what the hell is this? Key piece two. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, I get it. We got to get deals with the angel and blow them up to get that key that we can use to access the door in the dark room. I think I'm getting it now. Okay. I know I just keep saying okay, but this has all come to a large surprise to me. This is not necessarily how I intended to uh, to do this run. I kind of intended to just get through as far as I could and hopefully at least get a, uh, a lamb kill so I can start to feel a little bit better about the performances lately. But this is some new information. I can get behind this. Maybe this is one of those mythical mysteries I've been hearing people Twitter about on Twitter. Oh, did you hear about blah, blah, blah? Did you hear about blah, blah, blah? No, I'm trying actively not to hear about blah, 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 so I can figure out blah, blah, blah myself. Stop reading all the tips from blah, blah, blah's blah, blog. Don't come here. Please don't stand so close to me. That is like Bob's brain's theme song. So hopefully more deals with the angel in the future. I think they shouldn't be too hard to earn. Get away. Yeah, that was, uh, that was really dumb of me. Specifically. Now with Cuba Meat, I am happy that we got, um, you know, BFF. That could have been better. Don't shoot. Okay, shoot. Okay, shoot, like, specifically right now. Oh my god. We're gonna run into problems here. One Bob's brain shot could, could take us out here. That is not full health. Don't come close. You, you've come close enough. There is an arcade here. The arcade excites and, and titillates me. Brings to mind the possibilities of a younger life. But I'm starting to feel like this one's kind of shaping up to be a little bit suboptimal. Uh, we had some money drop. Don't get hit by a fly in here. If I get hit by a fly in here, like I'm straight up checking out. That's the last time I'm playing Rebirth today, I'll tell you that much. Well, it would, probably wouldn't kill me, so I'd have to take uh, two flies, still. That is not full health, that's a tiers downgrade, which I didn't even think was possible given that we already had only one slot in tiers. So that's not any good at all. Wow, okay. Yeah, that sorts that out. Money's looking pretty solid. Maybe some red hearts though to keep me alive, maybe? No? Okay, that's fine too. Can't really shoot at you or I'll get myself killed, so thank you for walking into that. Red hearts, please. Uh, still not red hearts, I can't help but notice. You know, you're very uh, giving when it doesn't mean anything. I would like for you to give me something when it means something. So I'm gonna move for now. You know, you've, you've had your chance, think about what you've done. And then of course I go gamble a little bit on the blood bank. Hey, you know, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. So we're desperately looking for our shop. Shoot. Man, if Bob's brain just shot a little faster, it would be a lot better. But it takes a second to whoa! It takes a second to warm up, and that's a real problem. Yes, follow me down the trail of tears, my friend. Done? Not quite done. Blow up next to some mushrooms. No, we still didn't get a pill or anything out of that. Okay. Oh, we did get mini mush out of this one, though. That's unexpected. We could use almost all the stats we can get, so I'm not going to complain about Mini Mush, even though it is one of the worst mushroom items. Still, I'm happy to have it. It's no Magic Mush, but uh, anybody, any mushroom item that wants to be a part of our party, you just uh, you let me know and I'll make it happen. I think Child's Heart is probably the best thing for us. I don't know if we've even seen any lifesteal. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know if we've seen any lifesteal as a result of... Uh, Isaac's fork, so... Well, E. coli's like, okay. Sometimes. Thank God this is not greed. I think with 18 cents, we actually, uh, we take Mom's purse and then we go back and get Lifesteal just to give us like double the chance of getting HP. We got Lifesteal and Child's Heart working out in our favor now. Consume thy enemy. Plus it has the coolest flavor text, as you can see. This might have just saved my run right here. Without this, it's possible we would die on this very next room. 
So we got a double boss room. Who would I expect that to be right now? Maybe like double, uh, double Gertie? I don't know. We're about to find out. Double Larry Jr. Oh, that's much better. So start with a little bit of Tammy's head there. I want to sneak in a Bob's brain shot, and this is over already. That's pretty solid. Well, it's not technically over, but it's it, we're in a good spot. We got Mysterious Liquid. All stats up by one and then shuffled. I'm going to do it. So let's, let's keep an eye on our important stats. Damage is at four. Tears is at one. Now damage is at four. Tears are at one? Maybe we have to go to the next room for it to actually count. Maybe it just doesn't modify it like that? I don't know, man. I'm happy to have it, I guess. I'm in a very I'm a very confused little boy right now. How many key pieces do you need? It looks like we've got kind of like the bottom section. I didn't take damage there? Are you effing kidding me? I thought for sure we were screwed. I'm starting to think that maybe we pull this one out somehow. Two bombs for that. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe go F yourself. Wish we'd saved some keys. Because we didn't need to use them at all. I apologize if my commentary is a little bit, you know, stunted. Uh, it's another word that I could use for that. You know, a little bit uh, dry right now. I am going to get this, by the way. But at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm torn between worlds here, you know? I'm like, I keep thinking that we're screwed, and then some kind of miracle comes along that saves us. It's a very strange position to be in. I am going to sacrifice the Spirit Heart to come in here. Uh, it was not worth it. I would not recommend that to my friends and family. And I think we're just going to leave now. I, I think we're going to leave. I was hoping we get another deal with the Angel, but hey, this is fine. And you know what? I, I poo-pooed. Nun's habit with Tammy's head, but honestly, it could end up being really, really great for us. Just checking. Uh, if we get something like Brimstone, or even just more damage, more cool tier effects, stuff like that, the more we can use Tammy's head, the better. So it might actually end up being one of the best kind of synergies that we can have, even though originally, uh, that was not my line of reasoning. What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think our stats got shuffled at all. <laughs> I think we are still doing... Uh, Good damage, very, very slowly. Sounds like a Papa John slogan or something like that. Alright. How do we handle this room? If I can kill some of these guys without Bob's brain, that makes life easier. Then we just make sure we hit one with Bob's brain. Don't move. Thank you. And then if I can get this guy to, like, jump up here on the Trail of Tears, that's fine by me. By the way, I'm just going to tell you straight up, I don't know enough about uh, American history to know if using the term Trail of Tears is super offensive. If it is, I apologize. I'm just reading it as it's said in the game. Retweets do not equal endorsements, etc, etc. My views are those of my own, not endorsed by my employer, who is also me. There's a weird legal loophole. That should kill them all? Oh, well, you know. Kill them all. When I said that should kill them all, I meant to say they should listen to Kill Em All, because it is one of the best Metallica albums, let's just be honest about it. Um, yeah, okay. I'm liking our combination here. We got the slow damage from Bob's brain, we got the quick little rapid fire punchiness of, uh, of Tammy's head. And then we've got our own tears, which, you know, kind of oscillate back and forth between useful and completely shitty, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles. For bosses, we we seem to be in an exceptionally good position. But what would really help us out is a brimstone pickup. I know you're hoping for it. I know I'm hoping for it. Let's hope we can get it. Bob's brain is like infinite range, so... I will say... Uh, I was... I shouldn't say I, I was in the right. Oh, that was bad. I shouldn't say I was in the right because this is like... We were just given this item to start the run. Or not to start the run, but soon. But I think I was uh, I was right to pick it up. And that's Bob's brain uh, getting some kudos. Not necessarily me deserving the kudos. We would probably be dead were it not for Bob's brain. Now, if it had been a better item in the item room, that story might be a little different, but it wasn't. So let's give credit where credit's due. 
Uh, that is a tinted rock. Oh, it's not a tinted rock. It's just a, it's a different tint, but it doesn't have any, it's not a, you know, secret rock or anything like that. I would kill for a tears upgrade. I mean, in Isaac, that doesn't mean anything. I would kill for a fucking heart. I would kill for a key. I'd kill just to get through to the next room. But I would seriously, like, do some bad stuff if I could get, like, a sad onion or something like that. Work with me. Preternatural predictive ability. Oh, that is, um, that's anti-grav tears. Should shoot this, because we could actually get to, uh... Could actually get to 15 cents pretty easily. Anti-grav tears are okay. I haven't had any runs where I've really been disappointed with anti-grav tears, but I haven't had any that have really blown me away, either. Let's hope that this is, uh... This is the case. Okay. So Tammy's head works with anti-grav tears. In a very strange fashion. I think that might be great, though. All right, well, there's our shop trip. Um, yeah, I think that might be great. I'm not totally sure yet, though. What I'm thinking is that we just do that and then hope to try to get the enemy to just walk into it. I don't know, though. Maybe I've just screwed myself. Anti-grav tears, though, are one of those items I'm always going to take uh, just because of the weird synergies with them. I still don't know what Mysterious Chocolate or Mysterious Candy does. I should learn what it does. Because uh, that might actually give me a better chance of winning. Maybe it's the greatest trinket, and I just don't know. The adversary. So I think I speak for everybody when I say go fuck yourself. That didn't go so hot. Okay, well, we got Tammy's head again. My hope is like just put Tammy's head down like right next to him, and it should help us do a little bit more damage. But ugh, what about this one? Is that one gonna be a little better? We're gonna survive. I'm just displeased with it. Okay, we can put Tammy's head down like right on top of him. That's an easy kill. We got a range upgrade after all that. See if we can earn some spirit hearts out of this at least. Yeah, okay. Well, I think I'm gonna head down to the next floor. I don't think there's much awaiting us on this one. It's not a lazy play. It's kind of like a survival play. I want to keep the spirit heart alive to maybe get us a deal with the devil on this floor. Um, we got the Bible. We got some spirit hearts. We got the tarot cards. You think you sing the songs that remind us of the good times. You sing the songs that remind us of the best times. You know, I know the drill. Let's get to 250. 250 is nothing. And then at 3 cents, I'm going to buy this key. Okie dokie. Be cool. Land Bob's brain in the middle there. Oh, no. Tammy's head screwed me. Um, I don't know how I see this run going, to be honest with you. I don't know just where I'm going. Seriously, though. Um, thanks for sticking around for these weird uh, Velvet Underground references. I know it's not really... Uh, it doesn't have a huge overlapping audience necessarily with the uh, video game sphere, so I, I appreciate your support. Not that the Velvet Underground is super obscure or anything like that. But it's no Doritos. Not that I'm shit-talking Doritos. I'm the first guy who's gonna say, hey, stop shit-talking Doritos, mate. They're cheesy fried corn-based goodness that the whole family can love temporarily. You're, you're still alive up there, huh? Hmm. How does this run end for us? We need a better item. It, there's just, there's almost no way of, of, around it. If we don't get it, I don't know how our life ends here. But we're not nearly doing enough damage to really pull ourselves out of this well. Oh, okay. Must have hit fire somewhere. We don't have any money to actually gain access into that shop. Arcade. Now we have money to gain access into that arcade. I'm really banking on a good item room here. So of course we could play the uh, the blood bank and the donation machine, and it might not be a bad idea. At least earn something productive with this life. But really, it's item room territory now. The problem is, the run just ends up becoming a little too slow soon. You know, with our... Um, with Bob's brain... You know, we, we, we start to pretty quickly reach a point here where Bob's brain is the only thing that allows us to deal damage. Ugh. 
That's very much not where we want to be. Now, we can mitigate that slightly, as you saw right there, by extremely creative uses of, uh... Oh, really? Extremely creative uses of Tammy's head. Like that one, for example. But how long does this keep us alive? How long does this, uh, give us a chance at greatness? I would suggest not so long. I'm gonna check this out. Should we reroll our whole run? I'm gonna do it. I don't see much of a future. Oh, snap! D uh, double mom's knife. Cricket's body, Cricket's head, whatever. That, that was straight up ahead. Oh my god, look at this whirling dervish of destruction. We may have just won here. Also, I don't think we're eaten anymore. Wow, the knife is very fast. I'm not sure if that's a shot speed thing or what, but uh, I am instantly supremely happy with this. This is also, I think, the first time in my entire Isaac career that I've used one of those reroll rooms and been happy with my results. So let's talk about what we've got here right off the top of our head. We got Spider Babby. We got more Spirit Hearts. We got Mom's Knife plus, like, I don't even know what this item is. Like, the one that gives us the shots behind us. It must be Mom's mom's Eye. Um, we don't have Nunsab anymore. Like, the item screen doesn't actually reflect what we have anymore. Um, we got Dry Baby. We got, uh... Daddy Long Legs. We got Headless Baby. We got PhD, I can tell by the mask. This is pretty solid. So this isn't the, you know, brimstone Tammy's head we asked for. Oh, and we got Dark Bum. Well, that turned around pretty fucking quickly. Apologies for the language there, um, but seriously. Man, I thought for sure we were totally screwed. But I think we've pretty much, uh... Look, I don't want to say we've guaranteed ourselves anything yet. But I'm pretty confident that we've guaranteed ourselves at least a Satan kill. And if, uh... If world, uh... Or if the world goes our way... Perhaps even a lamb kill. And we could donate some more money. You know, we're not in the market for boss rush mode. Oh, we have a $3 bill? That's why we got like number one active right now. Um, we're not in the market for a uh, a boss rush kill. Nah, not not by a little bit. Um, so we're gonna just go to our donation machine and, and cap it out. As our way of saying thank you for giving us this remarkable turnaround. Oh, there's also Piggy Bank in here now. Piggy Bank would be worth buying earlier, but I would say not now. And similarly, you know, I don't think we need the Bible kill. But we don't have any other items. Maybe we should use the Bible. Why not? Seven cents saves us the entire mom fight. Believe saves us the entire mom's hard boss fight. Wonderful. Forget our, um, our blood bank. Let's do this. Halo has appeared in the basement. Maybe this is the first time we've used the Bible to get the kill on this uh, save. So we get the negative. We also get an angel room. The angel room gives us holy grail. It's so good. We can fly. Oh, the beautiful bouncy on this run has just bestowed upon us flying double mom's knife. Curse of the blind means we can't tell what our items are. Also, our shots are absurd. I think we have iron bar on this room. Iron bar. That was supposed to be Tiger Uppercut from Sagat. It doesn't really make any sense the way I framed it. Actually, I kind of have to admit, I don't really like the insane quick charge time of uh, of New Mom's Knife with the kind of items we've got going on with it anyway. Um, kind of preferred when it was a little slower, but I think it's just something that, you know, gotta take some getting used to. Hopefully, at least. Look at that, like it shoots all the way across the room, but I kind of wish it was a little bit slower, more deliberate, you know? I guess we can just tap it lightly and kind of try to get that. I hope that at some point we can do our Whirling Dervish of Death here. Just because it looks cool as hell. Like, number one plus Mom's Knife is like exactly what Mom's Knife used to be. Well, what a uh, what an incredible first Mom's Knife, though. We could have so easily been absolutely screwed on this run. But instead, it looks like we're kind of going to coast to victory here. And this is exactly what I needed. Like, my morale is drastically improved as a result of this. Not that I was like, ooh, poor me before, but, um, you know, to be in this situation feels a lot better. A lot better. So, let's win. And if poss- Oh, I forgot to blow up the angel statue in the angel room. I should have done that to possibly get a key piece. 
I wonder if we'll have a chance at it here. Hopefully there's only two pieces to the key, but uh, if, if I made a, a huge mistake there, like, I apologize, but I was just so excited by the fact that, like, we'd actually managed to make this situation work for us that uh, I, was, I was starstruck, basically. We don't know what it is. The belt. It's a speed upgrade. Uh, okay. No deal with the angel. Dark Bum was just about to pay out. I'm sorry, Dark Bum. I hope this still counts as an Eden kill on the on the lamb if we get it. Not trying to sandbag or anything like that. It is possible we don't get it. Unlikely, but possible. Let's lose the spirit heart to come in here. Uh, hematomesis and bombs are key. So hematomesis dangerous, but also uh, bum friend. At least gave us a spirit heart. We traded like six red hearts for a spirit heart. That's not a good trade. But that's the, the calculated risk of hematomesis. Let's not throw. Let's not throw. Oof, that was almost a little bit of a miniature throw. Oh, thank God. You'll be wondering why I used uh, that card that I can barely pronounce the name of. When I was in such a good position HP-wise, I thought it would give me fairly low-risk spirit hearts. Instead, Demon Baby didn't pay out on our one heart, and we only got one heart. We could have gotten up to four, so I was hoping we'd get on, like, the upper end of that. Damn girl, I'd like to get on the upper end of that. Doesn't really make any sense. Oh, we've got the uh, stinky bombs, too. I don't really know what those do, but they look really funny. We need red hearts. Desperately. So we can pick them up, not even so we can convert them to spirit hearts. Now the Bible doesn't do too much for us in this situation. But yeah, we'll hopefully we'll get enough red hearts. I mean, we do have child's hearts, so I'm thinking we'll be fine as long as we just don't die in the very, very near future. Plus, if nothing else, this adds a little bit of extra drama to the run. Drama that I would rather didn't exist. But that's okay. You know, always look on the bright side of it. If I had not picked up that red heart earlier, we could have actually gone into our boss trap room. Oh well. Let's be honest, we don't really want to sacrifice red hearts to do so. Do our knives home? Oh, they sort of do. Yeah, they, they take a little curveball on at the end there. They don't home too much. But it's, a, it's enough to make a nice effect. Yeah, we'll open it. Oh, snap! Wonder if we can blow up the angel statue. Wonder if I even want to blow up the angel statue. Seems like it could put me in a pretty risky situation. Oh, do we have... Oh, not mom's contact. Concussive tears. Come on, come on. Go to town. Oh, you know what? Yeah, mom's... We use the Bible here. That would have been the worst way to die. So what happens if we blow this up here? Okay, we just get... We create a stinky room. That's not what I was expecting. Let's head down to the next floor, and it's possible that I sort of screwed myself here, but... I would desperately hope that that's not the case. God dang it, haunts. You are the worst. Thank God, okay. So, I, I still think these red hearts are more valuable in our current form than in spirit hearts. Why is that? Because Dark Baby is not guaranteed to pay out one-to-one. -one. Whereas the hearts pay out one to one because they go immediately into my red heart container here so even though you know there are there's values in having spirit hearts or there's value in having spirit hearts for our current situation I think it's better for us to, to take the guaranteed HP and we're getting back we're getting back that HP that we had lost pin not pin uh, super wrath super wrath is not so bad the, the trick to Super Wrath, and you might not have noticed it because I haven't really been doing it very well in this fight, is that if you hit him, he dies a lot faster. It's a pretty novel strategy that, uh, that rarely applies in the Binding of Isaac, but it's true. Um, the more you hit him, the faster he tends to die. So once you internalize that, it makes the run a lot easier. Now one thing I will admit is that actually, it might make sense to try to feed Dark Bum uh, the half hearts. Because half hearts only pay out as a half heart for me, but they do give a chance to get a full spirit heart from Dark Bomb, I think, so... It's not, um... You know, I, I don't know if that's 100% confirmed. But I think it's plausible. And we're getting back up to a, an amount of HP that I'm comfortable with. Which feels very, very nice. I was... I had cold sweats that we had fucked ourselves a little bit on this run. 
Really? We didn't kill them in one one fell swoop there? Use some bombs here. I would say that's more lucky than I expected to get. So that's a, a bold new strategy that I'm trying out here. It's called uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones Dip Beneath the Lasers. It has worked twice in a row for us, amazingly. And there's our boss room. So this will be Satan. We've recovered a lot of HP. We lost a little bit of it right there, but that's okay. I'm thinking our Satan fight's going to be pretty easy here. Let's get it on! Okay. Do it again. No, I will never repeat what I just said. I apologize for that. I don't really know what the stinky bombs do. I think maybe... It sounds like a children's song. I don't really know what the stinky bombs do. But mommy says put them in the toilet so that's where I poo. Just stay cool here, but still be aggressive, be e aggressive, but stay cool mostly. But be aggressive a little bit. All right, we going down. I think we should be able to make the dark room work out for ourselves here. I'm so sad that we only have one half of the key. Yeah, we can't just like put it in here and then wait. Maybe there's three parts of the key, maybe there's two, but we know for the future, you know, what, what kind of stuff we should look out for, I guess. Balls of steel, oh yes. And a second balls of steel pill. Somebody up there likes me. Right, this is double fallen. I was like, this fallen seems really tanky. Turns out, um, you're not wrong. Bad damage. You're both gonna chase me down at the same time. That, you're gonna end up regretting that a great deal, I promise you that. So we did lose on the dark room last time. We're so much more powerful and tankier this time. It's really, really a lot better for us. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I still hate the dark one. I think he's like an annoying... <laughs> this sounds like, uh, you know, like civil disobedience in the, you know, era of God and Satan. I hate the dark one, you know, but I think the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. That's why I'm voting for Beelzebub. You're all dead? You're almost all dead. No, dark bum! Okay, you're lucky. You're lucky. Gurglings? Alright. Those of you who think uh, Dingle's harder than Gurglings, which enemy still shows up on the final floor of this half of the game? That's what I freaking thought. I don't see any Dingles down here. And that's because Dingle's easier. Double Teratoma is like a godsend right now. <laughs> oh, that's I deserve that, let's be honest. I earned that the bad way. Oh. <sighs> Taking a deep sigh of relief, even though this isn't done yet. I'm not gonna say shit about double teratoma this time. I've learned my lesson. Hopefully. I'm this mom's knife is crazy good, by the way. I'm not sure if this is its default damage or what, but um it's it's absurd. We're going to win. We have an, even an extra balls of steel pill. I'm not gonna use the <laughs> the Bible here. People might be tempted. Oh, that was bad. People might think that uh, that would be fun. Let's use the Bible, see what it does. Maybe you'll find a secret. You know what? I don't give a shit about finding a secret. What I give a shit about is surviving, man. All right, let's kill the little baby parts first. Then didn't come across right if my neighbors were listening. We can afford to tank this. And then the lamb's gonna die. Did we unlock an item for this? We did unlock an item for this. Okay, thank God. What a... Uh, well, we've seen this many times. What a uh, a journey to get to this point. But hey, that was a really good run. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.